Uh, the inverter also has charger settings and uh, they are controlled from the Mate 3. I'm going to take this magnetic cutter cover plate off of there. Um, the settings for the for that uh, inverter setting is found under the uh, the advanced settings. So you do have to take this cover off, hit the lock button, enter in your 141 password by scrolling the scroll wheel, hit enter. Um, we're going to go to settings, which is the top button, and I'm in the top menu item, and then we're going to go to inverter because it's the inverter that's going to be doing the charging. Um, I'm going to go way down to battery charger and here are your um, the same settings the absorption set point the float voltage um, in this case the EQ setting is on a different uh, different uh, menu uh, and it, they do show the refloat float voltage here which really doesn't have to be uh, uh, bothered with but the primary again setting 57.6 is the absorption you know set point I can change that value um, simply by scrolling through once I've selected it. So if I select this item, I can then change it um, and go to whatever setting I want and hit enter to select that item. Uh, that's the center button of the wheel. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, those settings are important to remember because in a microgrid um, mode, they, regardless of whether the battery is being charged by the inverter, they are the set points that will cause the inverter to transfer back to the solar uh, once um, the battery has been recharged uh, by the solar day. So even if you're only charging with solar and you're in microgrid mode, um, it's still the inverter's charger settings that will um, switch the uh, transfer back to the solar at the end of a solar day. Uh, let me see here. Let's go up a screen. I don't think there was anything else under the battery setting there. Go up a screen and I'll just get out of here.